Hey guys, here's a kind of a cool find. It's vintagey. It's a coat of arms with a sword thing. I don't know who or what it's for. Uh, maybe it's Poland or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't. It's a double-headed eagle thing. I'm guessing. Uh, it's number 35, but it's three bucks. It's kind of cool. That's it. Take a picture of you. I'm not sure who it is. I'll see if I can find it. Okay, off I go. Neat. Okay, so guys, I looked this up, and someone's, I found that it's just a medieval coat of arms is what it's calling it. And someone's selling it on eBay for 56 They're asking $56. I, can't, I couldn't find anybody selling it, so uh, I'm going to pass on it. <laughs> It'll turn you into a hoarder quick if you just keep buying everything. Anyway, off I go. Hey, guys, this is a real quick blast in the past. I'm pretty sure this is from the 60s, maybe early 70s. But it's like one of those, uh, it's the little strong box with the key and all that for uh, doing your yard sale or doing like um, for uh, socials, for church socials, selling pies or however you do. I don't know. I, I remember these, seeing these things and I can't really make out. I think it says uh, Ballinock or something. I can't really see. It says Beachwood, Ohio. Really cool. That is neat. Anyway, uh, they went eight bucks for it. Sorry, that's a little too rich for my blood. But neat. Off I go. Hey guys, under here, I saw this. This is like a tourist uh, purse. It looks like it's it's really bamboo. Got some damage into there. And uh, it is from the uh, it's Casablanca bags. It's really kind of cool. Three bucks. Neat. Eh, not for me. <laughs> it's got damage over here too, but I don't know. It's like a little tiki or a, or a, um, or a Florida vacation thing. Anyway, take a picture and off I go. Neat. Okay, this thing here, guys, is for like the, um, it's a Westville Cottage Dollhouse kit. Really cool. Made in the U.S. Uh, very neat. I'm not going to pull it out, but it looks like looks like the critter's in there, so I'm going <sighs> to yeah, it's got plans and everything, so I'm guessing that's whatever it is. And they went 15 bucks for it. That's pretty cool. Take a picture and off I go. Not for me. Hey guys, here is a it's a Fleur de Lee. I think this might even be uh, Libby. Uh, I don't see anything in it. It's a Fleur de Lee uh, chip and dip bowl. Looks like they ran it through the dish because the gold's coming off. It doesn't have a little wire thing and it doesn't have a little the dip part to it. But eh, it's worth a little look. Take a picture and how much do you want for it? Seven bucks. Not today. <laughs> Off I go. Hey guys, check this out. I just saw this out of the corner of my eye. It's the Hamilton Beach Cordless Cookie Press. It's all in there too. I found a, a vintage, uh, I think it was from the 70s one I've been selling. I've sold a few of these things and uh, they did catch some money. How much you want? Uh, eight bucks. They don't leave any money, they don't leave any meat on the bone. I can't, you know. I'm gonna sell it for what 20 and it's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> Off I go. Hey guys, here's something that it's a diet Pepsi aha uh, glass. I don't really like Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, but some people do and they want five bucks and there's three of them. Uh not for me. I think they were selling they might sell for for five dollars. <laughs> anyway, not for me, but off I go. Hey guys, here's a really cool horse print. I love horses. <laughs> I haven't been been out riding in years, but I love them. It's a really neat print. It is uh, P. Fullerton. That is pretty. Sorry for the glare. I'm trying to do what I can. So I'll take a picture. That's really neat. Uh, I don't see the price anywhere. I'm not seeing the price, but it's neat. And over here, there's another. There's another horse picture. That's cute. It's real. Somebody actually painted that thing. It's very neat. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks like it might be 70s or 80s. Let's see if we get on the back. Oh, it's March 10th, 2005. Hmm. Great artwork. Well, that's when they had it framed. It might have been older than that, but it looks looks kind of 80s to me. But maybe not. Okay. Neat. No price. Off I go.
check this out. It's a dress uniform because it's got the short thing. I'm guessing it's Air Force. I don't know what the rank is on this, but the, that's pretty cool. It's an older vintagey one. It's a uh, Patriot, uh, styled by I, well, Wine Wine Throw Raub Brothers Dry Cleaner. Thing. Pretty cool. That's worth a little picture. And how much do you want for it? <laughs> that's always the thing. Six bucks. It's a small, that's a really small thing, but neat nonetheless. Off I go. Hey guys, I am out at my Sarasota Goodwill off of 301 and I found this pot. It's a cast iron enamel. And uh, for all intent and purpose, I thought it was like maybe a Copco or something. I'd never seen this design. But it's interesting enough, and they only want four bucks for it. That's really neat. There's no um, there's no maker's mark or anything on the bottom, but uh, oh no, there's a, there's another one. It's fifteen dollars, and then up here it says four. Okay, somebody's trying to get funky, so somebody added that on. So it's actually fifteen dollars. They catch that real quick. That not for me, but interesting enough. Okay, up I go. Hey guys, check it out. It is a Pyrex with the cool flowers with the little daisies on it. But it's got all the scratchy stuff. I think you can get it out, but eh. And they only want four bucks for it. That seems fair enough. Eh, I don't know if I can get that out. Anybody can help me. Uh, I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> Off I go. Okay, guys, it's another piece of Pyrex over here. But it's got like this really unusual base. I've never seen this base. Really neat. Looks like it's like 70s. Might be 80s. And went six bucks for it. It's pretty cool. Very cool. I've never seen it. It's like brown too. Yeah, there's the Pyrex under there. All right. Not for me. And off I go. Guys, look. It's a little poodle ashtray. <laughs> That's too cute. And they want how much? Do they want five bucks for it. And it is signed. What is it? Friends. Something a Pittsburgh PA made in Japan. Very cute. Not for me. Off I go. Okay, guys, here we go. It's, it's a Gold Star TV. It's not even super that old. I'm imagining it's from the 80s. Uh, God, these 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 TVs used to be so expensive, and color used to be the big deal. I remember. When my dad had got, we got our first TV, color TV, and I believe it was 74. And it was a Sylvania and all, with all the, the bottom console and all the wood cabinet. It was a, uh, whatever. It went 30 bucks for that. It's got the little rabbit ear gizmo on top. That's pretty cool. Not for me, but interesting enough. <laughs> okay, off I go. Hey guys, here's something. It's a rock tumbler. It's new. And it, it, there's rocks in there, but if you've ever had one of these, I had one of these when I was a kid. And uh, it takes like a month, two months for it to work. Uh, it's a long, long pain in the ass. I'd rather just buy them. I mean, that's my OCDs to like, keep up with that. But 13 bucks, I don't know. It is what it is. Not for me, but off I go. Because I thought this was kind of interesting. It is a getting out of Dodge, uh, and it was. Uh, what is it? 10 2006 by Pat Clark, I think it says. And anyway, it's got the, um, the hotel law offices. There's a horse and some cowboys and stuff. Uh, just do a real quick little look on that. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. I love the old West stuff. Okay. Not for me, but pretty cool. Oh, and over here it is 20 bucks. And off I go. Okay guys, this this painting caught my eye real quick. They went $15 for it. It's an elderly man. Um, I can't make out the signature down here. Uh, and I, I had actually looked on the back and it has some sort of, uh, uh, it's got some sort of uh, the official something of art distribute, just, bleh, distributed by, I can't make out the thing there, but uh, 
I guess I'll, I'll take a picture of that. And maybe I can work work with it and find out. Um, it's not for me, but eh, worth a little looky loo. Okay, off I go. Okay, guys, check this out. It is a mouse with a little thing of cheese, and he's got two holes where his eyes are. So it's a cheese shaker. It's got a little plug on the bottom. That is really cute, and they want five bucks for that. Uh, a little high for me, but cute. Okay, off I go. Neat. Okay, guys, I'm still out here at my, uh, I guess, Sarasota 301 uh, Goodwill. And it is, this is a status symbol. I guess you clang it, and it, you hang it on the wall. God, that would drive me crazy. But worth a little picture, and you guys want uh, five bucks. <laughs> Not for me, but interesting. Looks like it's probably 50s or maybe 60s. Off I go. Hey guys, we got a West Bend. It's a little uh, crackpot gizmo. This one's cool because it comes off of the um, comes off of the pad. I have actually three of these, the older ones I have. There you go, guys. It's a West Bend uh, crockpot thing, guys. I am out at my uh, Sarasota off the of Tamiani Trail by the Sarasota Airport, and look at this painting. Wow. It's only $15. Oh, oh no, it's not a painting, it's just a print. But it's really cute. Look at the girl. That's really cute. Very pretty. Okay, I'll take a picture of the whole thing. Not for me. But I'm loving this this um, frame. It's got that faux bamboo stuff going on with it. Pretty cool. The frame's worth that. <laughs> Off I go. Hey guys, check this out. It's a huge leaf, leaf bowl. Uh, but see over here. It's got a big ass chip right there. That sucks. Oh well. And it is California, USA S28, ten bucks. And another chip over there. Not for me. Neat though. Neat. It's an interesting find. <laughs> Off I go. Hey guys, check this out. It is a Sardinia uh, plate. Very neat souvenir stuff. He's very cool. I'll take a picture of you. And how much is it? Oh, it's even got Jamie one twenty five ninety eight. It's five bucks. Interesting. Not for me, but interesting. Okay, off I go. Guys, I just found all these Star Trek uh, commemorative plates. I guess. Uh, to boldly go where no man has gone before. There's Bones, there's Sulu, there's Scotty, and there's Chekhov. And they're all four bucks a piece. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, wow. They're signed and done, too. I guess somebody wanted $18 for them. And they... I don't know. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Neat. Off I go. Hey guys, check it out. It is a bamboo red stripe <laughs> beer stein glass mug, whatever. Very neat. Jamaica, no problem. That is really cool. And four bucks. I was in Jamaica back in 87 or 88. I stayed at the grill, the tree house. <laughs> Not getting it, but it's cool. Take a picture and off I go. Hey guys, I thought I hit the jackpot. It is a ceramic. Uh, conch shell wall pocket very cool I've never seen one before and it's got the hole and everything but right here it's just a hairline crack man that sucks wow very unusual I have never seen one I'd have got it how much how much do you want for the broken thing sorry five bucks for broken wow uh, nope but worth a picture and a little story <laughs> I'd love to have that. Off I go. Hey guys, this is a really interesting bowl. It's got these pin feet with the little rubber thingies on them. And it's like brass. It's, I'm thinking it's from the 50s. Really cool. And with 13 bucks for it. Not for me, but worth a little thing. 
Very cool. Okay. Beep. Off I go. Guys, I did. I I picked this up today. I forgot to take a video when I was in Goodwill, but here's the little tag over here, and it was uh, what was it? Forty-five dollars, and it is a gorilla cart, and that thing is going to help with the plants and stuff. Okay, that is too fun. Off I go. <laughs>